You know, it's been more than five months since Bed Bath & Beyond filed for bankruptcy. And since then, scammers have taken advantage of the situation by creating fake websites and fake sales. In this week's 21 Investigates Scam Tracker, Tyler Brummett shows you how to avoid their tricks. Well, last month, Overstock.com bought the rights to be known as Bed Bath & Beyond. It was a move that kept the company's name alive. This big change is one perhaps some of you didn't even know about. And now scammers are exploiting this opportunity to offer you a deal that's not even real. And we do have some breaking business news that we do want to tell you about this morning. Bed Bath & Beyond has filed for bankruptcy. That's from when Bed Bath & Beyond made an announcement changing their company forever. While you can't drive to their store anymore, you can still shop on this website. These deals are 100% real. Other sites, though, are not the real deal. So the website you're directed to appears legit, complete with a Bed Bath & Beyond logo and product details. However, if you examine the domain name or the email address closely, you realize it's not the official website. Better Business Bureau of Northern Indiana President Rick Walls says sometimes you'll find these scams on social media. He says the easiest way to avoid this type of scam is to skip ad links and go straight to the official site, bedbathandbeyond.com. Pay uh, attention to the URL. Sometimes it's just a letter or a number off. So instead of the correct spelling for Bed Bath & Beyond, they might have one typo on the spelling. That's a pretty good clue that it's a scam. And in some cases, if you buy a product from a scammer, they might ignore you if you reach out asking where that product is. They may also tell you it was sent to the wrong address. Walls also says whenever you shop online, it's smart to pay with credit cards so you can dispute those charges. And Walls says another clear sign is if the deal is too good to be true, well, then it probably is. In all cases, he says that should raise a red flag. Also, don't forget, I want to hear from you. Is there something you want me to look into? Well, you can scan that QR code on your screen to submit a tip to 21 Investigates. You can also reach out to me on social media. Search Tyler Brummett 21 Alive. You can send me a message on Facebook or on X. You can also email me at tyler.brummett at gray.tv. Always so helpful.